Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to appreciate so much because of your great support towards the analysis of this channel. Now, Kenyans, today it was a clearance that was to be presented to Irungu Kangata and his running mate, Winnie Mwangi, from Muranga County when it comes to gubernatorial race. Today, as they were presenting their papers, it was a big shock and a big blow to Irungu Kangata because IEBC failed to clear Irungu Kangata and his running mate Winnie Mwangi because of some allegation that was uh, the letter that was written uh, uh, to IEBC by EACC alleging that the deputy and the running mate of uh, Irungu Kangata did not follow law. So Kenyans, I want us to go through the reason why Irungu Kangata was not cleared by IEBC that some people, of course, are now celebrating that Irungu Kangata received a big blow. And also not only Irungu Kangata, but this is also a big blow to UDA party at large when it comes to gubernatorial race in Muranga County. So without wasting time, I want us to go through and understand why is it that Irungu Kangata was denied the ticket by IEBC. So without wasting time, I request with a humble heart. Of course, if you are a visitor, please I request with a humble heart, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. Of course, in this channel, we analyze pure politics, we give our opinions, reasons, we criticize the way we understand politics across the Republic of Kenya. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate thanking you so much. I'm grateful and humbled because of your continuity to support the analysis of this channel. Now, Irungu Kangata and his running mate, Winnie Mwangi, was denied clearance by IEBC for certain allegation that was reported to IEBC through a letter that is EACC. They were claiming that the rule of law requires that any candidate that is going to vie for this election must resign according to the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. But according to the running mate of Irungu Kangata, when it comes to Muranga gubernatorial race, it has been alleged by, I, uh, by EACC through a letter sent to IEBC that Irungu Kangata should not be cleared because his deputy did not follow the law that she did not resign. And remember, Winnie Mwangi has been a lecturer in Nairobi University. And when she was being selected to be Irungu Kangata's running mate, remember that Winnie Mwangi was still working as the lecturer in Nairobi University. So the issue is that Winnie Mwangi did not resign. He was just selected while working. And of course, in, uh, in a matter of fact, the law and according to the Constitution of 2010, it requires that a public servant or any person that has been employed to resign early so that he can meet or she can meet the requirement by IEBC. But remember, I don't know the law that Irungu Kangata was uh, following because as you do understand, Irungu Kangata is a lawyer by profession. So when it comes to having a mistake like this, that his running mate, Winnie Mwangi, did not resign for being a lecturer in a university, in Nairobi University, yet Irungu Kangata just decided that Winnie Mwangi was going to be his running mate not knowing that there were certain repercussions that was going to affect his clearance to be an officially candidate with the UDA party 
to run for the gubernatorial race in Muranga County. This is now a big blow, not only to Irungu Kongata, but also a big blow to the brigades and the supporters in Muranga County. Number two is a big blow also and a shock to Deputy President William Samuruto, whom he has always been advocating for the candidature of Ringu Irungu Kangata in Muranga County. Number three, it is a big blow and a shock because remember that Irungu Kangata was so much trusted when it comes to the candidature because he was likely and was going to win this uh, election as the governor of Muranga County. It was likely. I have not said that he was going to win. It is likely. But what I do understand is that why is it that these lawyers who claim themselves that they do understand the law, according to Rungu Kangata, who have been always advocating that he is the lawyer by profession, why didn't he not do a right thing at the right time? Because now, the clearance has been denied to them. What next for them? Is there any room for them to, uh, to Irungu Kangata to select another running mate? Because in the ticket of UDA party indicates that Irungu Kangata was going to vie for that seat as the governor of Muranga County, with his deputy Winnie Mwangi. But now Winnie Mwangi has been rejected. What next for Irungu Kangata? Is there any room for him to select another pastor? Is there any, uh, 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 any route for him to follow so that when he went back, when he decided to go back to, uh, to, to, to IEBC, he's going to be cleared? But I think, according to me, there's something that Irungu did not do. And this something is that he did not advise his running mate to resign early. And this is the reason why Irungu Kangata is being denied to be cleared by IEBC. It is not that Irungu Kangata does not have all credentials. Irungu Kangata uh, do uh, meet all the credentials, but whoever is blocking his bid is his running mate, that is Winnie Mwangi, who did not resign at the right time, the way constitution of 2020 requires someone who is going to buy should resign. So otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. I'm so much humbled and I'm so grateful. Bye bye till you meet on another video.